Hello everyone and welcome to the DPP Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Mondis. This is episode number 222 for August 10th, 2021. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast, the latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from around the world. Welcome back to the show, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, for housekeeping this week, just got one thing to mention, and that is the Boo Bash After Hours event is taking place tonight, the day I'm recording this episode at Magic Kingdom. I am going to be attending the very first event tonight. Hopefully there's some pin releases, not sure yet, uh, but I will have a vlog coming soon to the Disney Pins Blog YouTube channel. And uh, if there are any pin releases tonight exclusive to the event, I'll be sure to have a blog post up at DisneyPinsBlog.com. All right, let's get right into the pin news. First, we're gonna start off with Box Lunch. They had a ton of new pin releases this past week. First up is the Loki Alligator Pin. This was a really popular one, probably one of the most popular that uh, recently released at Box Lunch. Retail price is $9.90 for that one. Next up, there are two new tie-dye pin releases. The first one featuring Marie from the Aristocats. And uh, she is holding her bow but this time her bow is tie-dyed instead of the pink color. And then there was also a Winnie the Pooh tie-dye pin, uh, but his red shirt has a little bit of a tie-dye flair to it. Both of those pins have a retail price of $8.90. Next, there was a new Beauty and the Beast pin set release at Box Lunch. This one featuring Cogsworth and Lumiere in a chibi style. So they, they look like little babies, Retail price is $12.90 for that two pin set. Next up, there was another Winnie the Pooh pin release. This one featuring the tourism style poster pin. If you recall, there was one recently for Robin Hood as well. Uh, but this one reads 100 acre wood at the top and has Winnie the Pooh at the bottom below the tree. And at the very bottom of the pin, it reads, we're going on an expedition. Retail price of that one is $8.90. Next, there was a new Lilo and Stitch pin. This pin features Scrump in a wooden spa bucket next to a paper lantern, stars, and the moon in the background. That one is $8.90 as well. And then finally at Box Lunch was a brand new Grogu pin, Baby Yoda from Star Wars The Mandalorian. And uh, this one, he is eating the blue macarons. Pretty funny pin. Retail price on that one is $9.90. So seven new recent pin releases at Box Lunch. Next up is Hot Topic. And uh, they had a new 101 Dalmatians pin release. This one features the puppy holding a teddy bear in its mouth. Retail price on that one is $8.90. And then there was a Halloween mystery pin set featuring Winnie the Pooh. The characters included in this set feature two Winnie the Pooh pins, Piglet, Eeyore, Rue, and Tigger. Retail price is $8.90 per box, and that is one pin per box. Recently released at Hot Top. Next up is Shop Disney. The next Stitch Crashes Disney pin released, and it features Sleeping Beauty. This one appeared at shopdisney.com on August 6th. This is the seventh release in this collection. Limited release, retail price $24.99. And then there was also a new Legacy pin, this one featuring Alice in Wonderland 70th Anniversary. It has Alice, Cheshire Cat, White Rabbit, a couple teacups in Mad Hatter's hat. At the bottom reads Alice in Wonderland 70th Anniversary. That is a limited release pin with the retail price of $15.99. And uh, that one also released on Friday, August 6th at Shop Disney. All right, next up is Artlin. We had two new pin releases at dpbstore.com featuring Prince John and the Dew Drop Mouse. The Prince John pin is limited edition of 200, measuring three inches in size. And the Dew Drop Mouse pin from Bambi is limited edition of just 125, very low edition size there. And that one comes in at around 2.5 inches. Again, available at dpbstore.com while supplies last. And we do have a few other shipments that are on the way. Uh, they have been delayed recently. I don't know what's going on with the, uh, with the shipping, but just keep an eye out at dpbstore.com. We have Mulan coming, uh, Vanessa, Pinocchio, and the Sleeping Beauty Maleficent Aurora pin. So lots coming very soon. Next up is Loungefly, the Tuesday limited edition pin release this week 
At Loungefly, it features the Disney Princess book pin. It is a hinge pin on the front reads Once Upon a Time. And then whenever you open it up on the inside, you see a variety of princesses. You got Jasmine, Ariel, Merida, Pocahontas, Rapunzel, Snow White, Moana, Cinderella, Tiana, Belle, Aurora, and Mulan. Lots of characters on that, on that pin. It's limited edition of $1,000 with a retail price of $25. Next, we're going to head overseas to Shanghai Disney Resort. They had a new pin release for the Mid-Autumn Festival. It features Mickey and Minnie with a pin-on-pin -pin design, glitter embellishments, and a glow-in-the-dark effect. Limited edition of just $500, and that one released on August 6th as well. Then there's a beautiful new open edition pin series at Shanghai Disneyland called Voyage to the Crystal Grotto. They are stained glass with a hinge element. Really beautiful open edition pins. First one features Sorcerer Mickey from Fantasia. Then you have Belle and Beast dancing from Beauty and the Beast with the ballroom in the background. Next up you have Flynn Rider and Rapunzel from Tangled. And then the uh, fourth pin features Jasmine, Aladdin, and Genie from Aladdin. Then we'll head over to Hong Kong Disneyland. They had a new Magic Prize pin release. So this is whenever you play various games at Hong Kong Disneyland, you can win pins as the prize. And the latest there features characters as socks. Yes, socks you wear on your feet. There are uh, 12 different pins in total featuring Dumbo, Scrump, Stitch, Eeyore, Marie, Tramp, Simba, Winnie the Pooh, Chippendale, Cheshire Cat, and Baymax. Those are exclusive to Hong Kong Disneyland. And then this week there is a new pin series release at Disney Employee Centers. This set is called Studio Commissary Menu. I love these pins. I really wish I could get the uh, Ratatouille one for myself. But uh, they are hinge pins. Five different pins in total. The first one features Fauna's birthday cake from Sleeping Beauty. The second one is Tony's spaghetti meatballs from Lady and the Tramp. Third one is Tiana's gumbo from Princess and the Frog. Fourth is Mushu's breakfast porridge from Mulan. And then the fifth and final one is Linguini and Remy's ratatouille from Ratatouille. And uh, those are all limited edition of $2.50 with the retail price of $24.95 each. Available this Thursday, August 12th, 2021 at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, and now for the new pin releases this week at Disney Parks in America. First up is a brand new Magical Mystery Pin Pouch. This is series number 18. And it also features characters as socks, just like Hong Kong Disneyland. We have uh, some sock pins here in America. Six different pins in total for this set. One randomly selected per pouch. The socks feature Pooh and Tigger, Bambi and Thumper, Chippendale, Pain and Panic, Lady and the Tramp, and uh, Olaf and Bruni. These were spotted around the parks and resorts. Um, still kind of hard to find. I think they are uh, pulling out slowly. I know there are reports of them being spotted at some of the uh, resort hotels. And then also were the new open edition Halloween pin releases this week at Disney Parks and actually Shop Disney Online. There are a few more at uh, Disney Parks. I didn't post all of them yet. I'm just uh, waiting to uh, get back to Magic Kingdom to get photos and details of the new Halloween pins. It seems like right now they're only at Magic Kingdom because I was at uh, Hollywood Studios and uh, Disney Springs. And I didn't see them there yet. Uh, but seven of them are available online at Shop Disney. There's a Mickey Mouse pin, Minnie Mouse, Pluto, Donald Duck, Goofy, a Chippendale pin set with them in pumpkins, and then a uh, child pin from Star Wars. He's uh, kind of using the force there on the candy. But I know there's also a castle one. There's a four pin set. There are like little ghosts. And then there's also a Marvel pin as well. And I think another... Uh, pumpkin two pin set. So I'll have those all up on the website on the uh, Halloween open edition pin post for 2021. Uh, but like I mentioned, seven of these are available at shopdisney.com. And then there was just one limited edition pin release this week at Disney Parks, and it only appeared at Disneyland on the West Coast. 
So nothing on the East Coast at Walt Disney World, uh, but the one and only pin release this week features Cleo from Pinocchio, and it's part of the Terrarium pin series. This is the eighth pin in this set. Limited edition of 4,000, retail price $19.99. So yeah, I think that's gonna do it for the pin news this week. Keep an eye out at DisneyPinsBlog.com for more Halloween pin releases and the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary pins coming very soon. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week and thank you very much for listening and watching episode number 222 of the DBB podcast. See ya.